What's going on, guys? It is prime time. LP Schumer back for let's play Harry Potter and the like, Chamber of Secrets. Okay, so we're gonna need to walk over here and go over here. So we got a cutscene, and I'm gonna turn uh, brighten this up a bit here. Now I'll be turning it back down because this is one of the darker parts in the game. So I'm just trying to brighten this up a bit here. It's unfortunate. That you are willing to sell. Correct. I'll expect you tomorrow at the manor to pick them up. Good day. Good day, Mr. Thank you, sir. I mean, I'm not Mr. Malfoy. Alright, I'm actually just going to leave this setting out as it is right now, I guess. Because we're going to need it when we go back there as well. I'm going to be using Lumos a lot in this LP just to keep, uh, because it's a little bit hard for my capture card to see the darkness in this game for some reason. So, okay, let's quickly tiptoe over here and grab this spell book. Yeah! We got our first spell of the game already, and we're only in part two. God damn. That's what I'm right now. Okay, so let's touch on right now. Uh, this is Lumos. It is the spell that illuminates the room. Like this. Alright, let's go. Alright, so let's quickly walk through here. And there's a... Yeah, it'll also open up secret passages in the wall like that, so... Do that. And that's, that's just uh, health if you need it, so... Okay. Take a look here. I can probably turn it back down the... Brightness a bit. Okay, so... Here, just spam B. That's what I do. Uh... There we go, we got him. Alright, now when we topple him over, we'll be able to jump up here. And hop down here. Okay, so this kind of just gives it away right here what you're supposed to do. If you want, yeah, to, I'm not sure if you can... Okay, I could suggest running away from this guy at the beginning, because he's a fucking whore. Wow, really uncalled for, I apologize. Uh, in this game, it takes so... Your guy just is so slow when he has him for some reason, I don't know why. Alright, so we got him trapped in now. And now we can actually jump on top of his cage and go up somewhere we couldn't go before. Alright, so, uh, in this game, Hedwig helps us out with uh, uh, certain objectives, but we need to give her an owl tree first. Now, this is an owl tree. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, but yeah, you feed, feed these to Hedwig, and normally she'll go get you, like, a ladder or something like that, so, yeah. Yeah. Let's call Hedwig right now. Hedwig, these are Hedwig spots. They're uh, little perches, I guess you could say, where something would sit on. So, let's give her the owl treat and see what she will do for us here. No, she won't do anything sexual, just in case any weirdos were thinking that. But, man, that's just weird. Think about that with a... Ugh, actually, I don't even want to say it. I'm screwed up. Well, anyway, she's going to drop down a ladder that we can, uh, that we can go on to here. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's go up here. Let's see what we got. Okay, there is a treasure chest back here with a card in it. There we go. Okay, so we're up to five cards now, I believe. Yes, we are. Number 98. Okay, so, uh, here there are actually some floors that we can fall through. So make sure you're using Lumos so you don't walk into them, because you'll fall down into the room that we were just in, so. You don't want to do that, trust me. Alright, walk in here. We're just flying right through this shit, man. Alright, uh, wall, side all along here. I'm honestly, I'm gonna be trying to get through this game as quick as possible. So, uh, I'm gonna be rushing a lot of stuff, and I'm probably not even gonna be, my commentary is gonna be actual poop for this game. Uh, just because I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible, because like I said before in an update video, I'm very paranoid right now about getting all the all my Harry Potter games done before Deathly Hollows Part 2 comes out. I don't know why I'm so paranoid about it. i got plenty of time. I just don't know why I'm freaking out about it. But Well, I don't know. i got about two months to finish four games, pretty much. 
And that, you know what? And they're probably going to be, they're all about 20 parts each, 22 parts each. So, I don't know, actually, that, yeah. So I'd have to pretty much average doing two LPs a month. And right now, I'm pretty much in the middle of doing three, uh, which, like, two of them I upload every day. And this one will be up one every second day. Because uploading one, uploading uh, three LPs a day, that would be so much work. So I'm actually going to be kind of relieved when I get to uh, Deathly Hollows Part 2, because uh, that's when I'll start going back to one LP a day, or maybe even two. But I don't know, after I'm done Deathly Hollows Part 2, that's when I'm going to start my Legend of Zelda uh, stuff, and I cannot wait to do that. Because Legend of Zelda is the most amazing game ever, and I'm probably going to start a Pokemon game around there too. Can't wait, it's just going to be amazing. Alright, so we we have arrived officially in Diagon Alley. Um, we got our first cutscene up here too. Uh, Ron, oh, Ron, or Ron's mom and uh, and Ginny. Oh, I guess so. The Harry's like, oh, I'm gonna be banging her in four years. <laughs> Funny thing is, it's true. Okay, um, yeah, that was, yeah. Rather uncalled for, but I'm just pointing out the facts, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so, let's head in here and buy our book, which will upgrade our spells considerably. Um, yeah. Frickin' loading screens, man. Oh, you guys know how much I hate loading screens. You guys, oh, I hate loading screens with a frickin' passion. How much is this book? The Standard Book of Spells, Grade 2, by Miranda Goshawk. Ah, now that would be one sickle. You guys know, I, I don't really get it, but they always rush that, uh... Thank you, with the knowledge... They, he always rushes that last sentence, I don't know why. Powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, and cast it when the spell is ready. But be careful, don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Is this just like that? Is this just me, or does that, uh... She look, does that look... That guy look like a chick. I don't know, just kind of looks like one to me for some reason. Right, we're up to eight minutes in the video, damn. Part 2 nearly coming to a conclusion already. It feels like we just started. Frickin' crazy, dude. Crazy, man. You're crazy. You're crazy. Alright, frickin' loading screen, obviously. Stupid game. No problem. Thanks so much. Now go on. Show us what you can do with your new spells. Bet you can smash those barrels over there. I bet I could. I bet I could. Okay. So, you knock down those barrels and you get sickles. Okay, so well, this is our first, uh, where we're going to find first of Ginny's things. Freaking loading screen. Um, this is where we're going to be the fire. Oh my god, I cannot talk today. But, yeah, this is where we're going to find the first couple things from Ginny. For Ginny's stuff. Go into the back here. You know, the storekeeper just lets us go into, the, go into his back room. What kind of storekeeper is that? Okay, so cast a strong propendo on that. I'll open that up. Now, go on through the hole. That's what she said. And we get a bunch of those sickles. And we get Ginny's quill. So that's good. Let's head on through here. We're done with this. 
cabin? Is there a treasure chest back here? Uh, it just seems like a place there at hide a treasure chest. At least you'd think they would, anyways. Time we up. Okay, guys. Um, I am actually going to call the video here. I will meet you guys uh, outside the building here in the next part. No, I'll just meet you back here. All right, later, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.